Let's go. What up everybody, Bob Hansen here from Elevator Prints 3D. And Bill Clemmer. And we're here to talk to you guys about some new filament, some PVB filament exactly. So if you want to stay tuned and see how this Yosu PVB films and work, or not films, yeah, it, it could film, or how it prints <laughs> probably is the better term to go with, and see how it prints, then stay tuned and check it out. Okay, intro. All right, looks like you wanted to check out how this Yosu PVB prints, not films. So with that, let's just get started with it. Um, while I'm talking about it, uh, Bill's actually gonna be smoothing out this elephant right here. The process of it is he's just gonna spray some rubbing alcohol on it, soak it all the way around. What, is that the 99%? 99. Right? So, yeah, we got the good, good stuff for that. As you can see, we got a couple other prints. So with that, Bill, start smoothing away and I'll start talking about the filament. So the filament was a little tricky to print with at first. Um, we printed all of these prints on the FL Sun Super Racer. It's their really big, tall one. If you haven't checked out that printer, I really recommend it. We'll be doing a uh, review video on that printer here soon, hopefully. So keep an eye out for that. But with that, let's just kind of start talking about how these printed. I believe the first print we did was either like a Benchy or something like that. I can't honestly remember. I know we did the skull print pretty early on. Uh, it printed really good. I did notice a couple like flaws with it when it was printing. I had to really lower down the speed. The FL Sun Super Racer is actually known for printing extremely fast because it's a Delta printer. Like that thing just, whoo, just busts out those prints super easily. And with this, it was printing too fast. So that was an issue. It kept clogging up. We kept trying to mess with the temperature. It, it just was kind of a little bit of a hassle at first. But we were expecting that because this is a new type of filament that not a lot of people have printed with. So what we did is we lowered the print speed almost down to like 40%. And so this thing was just printing really, really slow, but that's when we started getting the best quality. So one of our recommendations for you is when printing with PVB is to just slow it down a little bit. Don't be too scared that it's gonna take so long is because yes, it is gonna take a little bit longer, but when you slow it down, your printer isn't gonna clog up, it's able to extrude the filament properly, and that's really what you're trying to go for when you go for these prints. So, we'll talk about this well print right here. As you notice, it has a really cool base on it that is not supposed to be there. Now, when I was doing this one, I was like, okay, well, I wanted it to be off the ground because I didn't want the bottom to just soak all the way through and to kind of make the whole bottom just disappear and de degrade and stuff like that. So I broke some filament, I put it on that, and then I let it dry on that. Well, when it dried on that, it adhered to it, and now it is part of the print. So what we'll do after this is we're gonna remove that and hang it up to let it dry, so that way you don't have a permanent base on it when you don't want a permanent base. Now this is just a little well planter that I printed, and as you can see, this thing is shiny, this thing is smooth, this thing is awesome. I really like how it drew really just smoothed out the whole entire print. I mean, it's gorgeous. I mean, you can even look at this now and you can just see it, like just already smoothing it away. I mean, you just did an excellent job. I mean, Thanks, man. Did you, did you do this for a living? I, Was this your past job, Bill? Yeah, maybe in a past life. A past life, you were a PVB filament smoother? Yes, that's right. Or in the future life. Yeah, future <laughs> life, exactly. But yeah, this thing is really cool. Um, while it's drying, it gets a little tacky. It is tacky, I was gonna yep. say. And we do recommend that you wear gloves just because anytime you use anything with rubbing alcohol. Safety first. Safety first, and you don't want anything to happen to you guys because you guys are all so amazing. But yeah, and so then the next print we did was this really awesome, was it Mona, is that the name of this? I... Something like that. But this thing is huge. Easter Island head, right? Yeah, Isn't something that? like that. I, I think that's what it is. But I really like this model because it was really big. It already had really nice smooth print quality to it. I just wanted to see what we would do. And I think the main thing about this filament is the shine that it just gives off. I mean, this thing is yeah. awesome. I mean, it's as big as my head. Yeah. It, it could just be a bill, you know? Just, yeah, it could be, <laughs> he'd be our third little like printer dude, you know, just hanging out with us. But no, I, I really like how it printed. I didn't smooth the inside at all, but it almost looks like while it was evaporating, it was smoothing it the inside. It does look like it did get some yeah. smooth in there. So that's pretty cool. Um, like I said, you will notice if you leave it in, it will just start eroding the bottom and start eating it away um, with the well. I'll get up a little bit closer to the camera so you can see it. It actually, like you see this little drip right here where it just eroded all the way almost to the bottom. It's almost all the way through. So you're gonna wanna be really careful with that so that way you don't have any issues. 
And all Bill's doing right now is just a light, gentle spray. You want to start on the top and work all the way down. You want it to be 100% covered because if you miss a spot, it's going to look a little odd. It's not going to be correct. And it's just not going to turn out good. We went through a whole roll of gray. I know we don't have a lot of prints here in gray. Was this printed in? Yeah, it was. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's another thing we printed in it. We didn't smooth this one out because it's a vase mode and we were thinking that if we smooth it out, it's actually going to just go all the way through. I mean, we might be able to hit it with one or two layers, but you can tell like- Heck, let's is... just do it. Let's just, let's just hit it with some layers, man. Where are we gonna, let's see. Where do we want to set this at then? Um, oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, just set it right. This. Um, I want to thank Yosu real quick for sending us this filament for the purpose of oh. reviewing it. And tacky, tacky. This is just drying. Tacky, tacky. We're just going to set that right up there. I'm just going to do another light coat right there to get that fingerprint off of there. And so now he's just going to spray this guy. Just give it probably one good two or three little coats on it. Just get it all nice and clean and easy. You can pick up this filament on Amazon if you want to. It's really good. I do like it. Like I said, just slow down your print. You don't want to print too fast or it's just going to clog up your machine. And we have a volcano hot end on that and it clogged that up. Yeah. So just slow down your slow print. Slow down. Don't be afraid. You know, sometimes in life you got to take things a little slow. I know with 3D printing, the whole point is rapid prototyping and getting things pumped out fast. but. Sometimes, you know, just take life easy, you know, set back, crack open a cold Lacrox if you want to, you know, just take it easy, have fun, hang out, watch the print print, don't be afraid, you know, take a bunch of Instagram videos for it. If you do end up purchasing some of this filament, feel free to tag us on Instagram at Elevated Prints 3D. We'd love to see what you guys are printing out there. Um, and yeah, so yeah, look at that. that ended up doing really good. Yeah. I don't think it will eat away too many layers at all, you know, it technically is just a base mode so it's one single layer all the way around. I bet it's gonna turn out beautiful. I think it, I bet it will. I think yeah. it's gonna look really really nice. Yeah. So I already I already like it. I already like it. <laughs> but yeah. And then so with that, I mean I guess that's kind of about it. Any other thing you want to add Did about you mention it? the uh, the kind of the odor it put off when it was printing? Oh no I did not. That's a good thing. It smells weird. It smells weird. Yeah you know when you're printing with it. Yeah. Yeah um I, I mean like, I wouldn't say bad but, no, but it's it it's gives off a different odor. Yeah, it's it's present in the room with you. You yeah. can you you know it's there. You know you're printing with it. Yeah, sure. it's not like it, 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 almost similar to ABS. How when you print with ABS, you know you're printing with ABS. It's not the same smell as ABS. It's just think different odor. But other than that, it wasn't too bad at all. You know, I, like I said, we, I wouldn't say bad. Just a no. We cracked a couple doors, let some unique. ventilation in, a different unique smell. Yeah. But yeah. So then with that, I guess we covered everything we needed to with this. Thanks for staying tuned for this short little video. We got a couple new videos coming up here soon. So keep an eye out for that. And don't forget to keep elevating your life and keep it groovy. I'm Bob Hansen. And I'm Bill Clemmer. And we'll see you next time. Peace.